Good morning, guys. Today we are going to talk about a book that has a great teaching, but at the same time has a generated a lot of controversy over the years because his type of language. Oh, this class is gonna be so boring. <sighs> hey, Jake, you wanna play something after this? Hey, man, can you shut up, please? I'm trying to pay attention. You need. Hey, Valeria. Do you have any idea that that word means? Well, teacher, the truth is that I don't care what that word means, and I'm still going to use it. Valeria, the N-word is a racist wave that referring to people of color. Translated would be like black men. Um, hey, teacher, uh, I got a question for you. Uh, I think there is a book that uses that word a lot um, in such a way that it has been banned from many schools over the world. That's what I mean. It's from that book that I was referring to Huckleberry Finn. Has a super value teaching for life. However, the context in which the word was writing was not so serious. Valeria, would you do us the favor of reading the introduction of the book? Of all the contenders for the title of a great American novel, none has a better claim than Adventures of Huck Very Finn, written against the backdrop of the nation's desire to light up and expand into the promised future of the West. The novel stands as a reminder of the difficulty of escaping in higher traditions. Huck and Jim's voyage portrays a turbulent yet hopeful epoch in American history. Defining the experience of a nation in voices often satirical but always authentic. By turns, praise, desire, band, and celebrate. Adventures of Huckberry Finn. In Mark Twain's enduring masterpiece, an incomparable adventure story, and a classical work of American humor. Thank you, Valeria. That is why, in the context of this book, or other, the use of N word caused a series of counter. For teacher and student, where this word is used, what do you think about it? One of the advantages she talks about is tolerance towards the black person or Afro-descendants. Okay, so I think Jim is a character who represents a racist community and also represents a brutal slavery. A disadvantage that this book presents is that the N-word is used as if it makes were insignificant. It doesn't try to make the students or readers aware. This can affect and people start using it, the word as something without value. Did you know? To make the book more child friendly, they changed the word from slave to servant because the term slave is declaratory to African Americans. Yes, and I had read that in the public library of Condor. Describes the book as an absolutely immoral in its tone and there is a use of bad grammar and use of bad expressions. Hey Dominic, what do you know about the book? Well, I know the book's banned because of the time it was written, the relationship between a young white man and a black, and a black man was seen very bad. Also, the black man was considered as a stolen property because the white man refused to give it also, in the part of the river where the characters are related, gives us a teaching of friendship and help. That's why everyone can be friends five minutes before this word, but it's not correctly cover the use of this word because this causes contrary in people. Well, you're right, teacher. So, I must apologize for my attitude. And Joshua, sorry for trying to use this word against you without knowing what it means now. Hi teacher, good morning. Um, I want to talk to you about something. Um, I was thinking about yesterday about my attitude and about the things that I said to Joshua and about the things that I said to you. Um, I know that my, that my attitude, it wasn't the best uh, and I truly and deeply want to make an apologize to you and then I'm going to talk up with Joshua about it and I really feel bad. Don't worry about that Valeria, just go and apologize with Josue. Well Josue, here am I once again um, 
trying to apologize with you. I already talked with the teacher, but he told me that I need to talk to you, so here am I. Um, I want to tell you that I really, really sorry about it, about telling you that you are dead and all of that. I mean, like, I know that I was very mean to you. Sorry. Well, thank you for your apology, Valeria, and I accept it. And I know because you didn't mean to like offend me and anything, but I you should know that by saying that you're hurting people.